Hi, I'm Shalom Black, and today I'm gonna to show you around my bathroom. My bathroom is actually newly renovated, and honestly, I'm in love with the way that it turned out. I painted the whole bathroom white because it makes, I don't know, it makes me feel very calm. As you guys can see, I don't have any makeup stuff in my bathroom because I do not do my makeup in this bathroom. I have a whole little studio room that I film my makeup videos and get ready and that is a mess. Like there's no way I'm bringing that in here. So makeup has always been something that I liked but I really got into makeup after getting burnt I got introduced to actually like makeup makeup and eventually I decided to get on YouTube and start doing makeup on myself to help other people that are also burn survivors my makeup space is like workspace for me and this is like my time so here we obviously have the vanity area I kind of wanted to do a spa feel so I fold up these towels and put up here and I do not use those towels at all so they're just there here I have sort of like my restock of like toothpaste cleansers these are my cottons these are in my everyday use so I have a whole bunch I and mean, I also have my face steamer the face steamer that I have I got it from Amazon because you know I saw a bunch of content creators getting face steamer but I really like it because it opens up the pores so that your skincare products really get to like penetrate into the skin and do what they need to do so I'd like to use that you do have to be careful to not go too close to the steamer because it can actually burn you because the water the steam gets pretty hot so just be a little cautious with that up here i just have things that i use mostly every day so i have my toothbrush i have two brushes i don't know why but i use both of them and then i have my lip moisturizers that i keep in here because when i wake up in the morning i do like to put moisturizers and then here i do have my cottons that i use every day and one important thing if you guys don't know i'm bald but i do kind of grow hair so i always have razors to basically shave my hair in the morning when I want to have that solid bald look. Occasionally I will use the Fresh Rose Deep Hydrated Face Conditioner Cream. It just kind of keeps my face hydrated but I don't do it every single day so maybe like once a week. And then here I just have more skincare. It's kind of like a restock, some, some stuff that I reach out for or when I'm traveling, I could just pick it out from here. I have some Bobbi Brown Soothing Cleanser Oil. This just kind of helps like get the makeup easily. Some moisturizers and you know, SPF 30 to protect you from the sun because we need that. You know, even black people, you need um, UV ray protection, so. Just know that. I'm not a huge skincare fanatic. I keep it very minimal because that's what works best for me. I felt like I was being recommended so many different stuff from so many beauty creators and I was trying all of them. But honestly, when I decided to pay attention to what I was actually putting and seeing how it was working, I started to realize, okay, this works for me. This doesn't work for me. When I do a lot, my skin doesn't intend to do good. So I keep it simple and basic. And then right here on the bottom, again, I just have like body spray. I actually do not use these as much, but I do like to wax my armpit myself. So I have the pre and after, you know, wax spray that I keep in here. And, uh, some Vaseline spray because I do like Vaseline and we have some Vaseline all over the body balm. I would say I spend about an hour and a half in the bathroom when I wake up every morning. Um, and that's usually on a good day. If I'm not going back to bed, I would get up, um, you know, brush my teeth, um, get in the shower and then come out and then do my skincare before I head in and do my makeup. So moving along, I'm gonna show you guys my shower. It's very basic. The shower that came with the house was just not my vibe. I wanted a rain fall shower that would just like fall down my head. Again, being bald, 
I just love that, that I can just have water coming down my head. It makes me feel at ease. We opened up a bit of the wall, so now I have a open concept from my bathroom to my bedroom. I know a lot of people don't really do that, but I can watch TV while I take showers. So pretty much in here, not much going on. I just have my loafer that I use every day. And as you guys can see, I have three little bottles. I like to keep everything sort of uniform. I don't like seeing the bottles that come, you know, when you buy your body wash, your face wash, and all that other stuff. I just felt like it was a little too much going on. So the first one right here is my face wash. Sometimes when I come back, especially at night when I go to events, I come back and I wanna take my makeup off. I just would rather just get in the shower and like wash my face then do my skincare. And then in the middle here, I just have my body wash. This is the Dove um, Coconut Body Wash that I put in here. And then lastly, here is my feminine wash. I know that sometimes um, people would say, you know, feminine wash is not good for you because it kind of change up your pH levels. But for me, it I haven't had any problem with it, so I still use it. And yeah, and it's clean down there. You know? Most of the times I do shower twice a day. I shower before I put on my makeup. I don't know, I feel like I have to go to work. So I shower in the morning, do my makeup, and then before I go to bed, to get my makeup off easily, especially on days that I put makeup on my head. When I'm doing the bald look, I do intend to put makeup on my head, so I don't want to lay on my furniture and get makeup on it, so I would just go in the shower and wash all that off and shower again. So moving along, I have my bathtub right here that I barely use but my sisters do come in here and use it more than I do, so at least somebody's getting a use out of it. I'm just not a fan of like sitting in warm water. Even though I do like to take showers in hot water, I don't like to sit in it because I feel like disgusting and like sweaty, so I'll actually get up and just go take a shower. So I do not use the bathtub as much, but I really do like it and I love the entire look of it being in here. And yeah, we have this little faucet. I really like this, the way that the water just comes. So cool, I love that. And then here, lastly, I have Pretty much is a hot mess. I'm ashamed, so we, we're gonna try not to show this for too long. Pretty much is just like my um, hair product. So my styling tools, I do have some cleaning stuff in here because I don't have that much space. And I have some styling strips, okay, to get those lace laid and baby hair laid to the gods. Back here, I pretty much have like hair dyes because I do like dye my wigs for content purposes and stuff, so I have a bunch of hair dyes in here. Don't do your hair at home. If you can get a professional to do your hair, do it, but if you're doing a wig, then I would say it's okay. For my everyday skincare, I do like to keep them up here. I actually put the shelves myself, so I'm so proud of them. We have some perfume in here. I have two of my favorite, Good Girl and this um, YSL perfume, so good. Um, and of course, my deodorant <laughs> gotta spray a little bit toner which is also from fresh I do love fresh products it's very gentle on the skin so I really like that because I have textured skin and because of my scars I do have to like be careful with the products that I use because I don't want to irritate the scars um, and of course I have my everyday lip moisturizer and this is from Tatcha this is the kids um, lip mask so good to me and then my favorite skincare product that I literally cannot live without is this Clinique moisturizer you get to customize it based on your skin concern so I have it for moisturization and I also got it to fade out my um, you know dark circles or scarring from pimple and stuff like that so I find that that works really amazing and I honestly freaked out the last time when I ran out when I ran out and I don't think Sephora was open at that time so I was like oh my god now I have to order it online so that's something that I feel like I can never live without I have to have that with me at all time a shameless plug 
I actually got to help Vaseline to create this product. So we have a lotion, body butter, and a body oil, which is actually really great. I have it on today. So it gives you, you know, just a bit of natural sheen and shimmer all over the body. Oh yeah, this, this is the Fasali Gold um, Skin Mist. Like in the afternoon when my skin kind of gets dehydrated, I just like to kind of up up and just give it a little bit of a spray. It feels so good and it keeps my skin very like calm and cool. So I like to use this and it smells really good. I don't really have a lot of expensive products cause I, I, I'm like a mid range girl. I'm not crazy about the, the price of things. As long as it works, it works. So I think probably the most expensive product in my skincare regimen would be the Domologica facial cleanser. I think it's like 130 something dollars, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's that's my high end right there. Days that I do not wake up by 7 a.m., I'm pretty slumgish and I don't wanna wake up, but on the days that I do wake up and I'm doing my routine, I feel at ease. It just makes me feel very energized and ready to conquer the day. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming and watching my bathroom tour. Remember to always be your own kind of beautiful. Bye.